The quantum law of being presents a paradigm shift in our understanding of reality, challenging the Newtonian model of a deterministic universe and aligning more closely with the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. This concept, while rooted in contemporary physics, also resonates with ancient philosophical traditions, suggesting a profound interconnectedness between consciousness and the fabric of reality. At its core, the quantum law of being posits that consciousness plays a fundamental role in shaping our experienced reality. This notion finds support in quantum phenomena, such as the observer effect and wave function collapse. The famous double slit experiment, a cornerstone of quantum physics, demonstrates that the mere act of observation can alter the behavior of subatomic particles, causing them to manifest as either waves or particles, depending on whether they are being measured. This observer-dependent reality challenges our classical understanding of an objective, independent universe. Instead, it suggests a participatory universe where consciousness and matter are inextricably linked. Physicist John Wheeler proposed the concept of a participatory universe, arguing that the act of observation not only affects the present, but may even influence the past. The quantum field, often described as a field of infinite possibilities, serves as the substrate from which our reality emerges. This field, in quantum field theory, is understood as a sea of fluctuating energy permeating all of space. The quantum law of being suggests that our consciousness interacts with this field, collapsing wave functions and manifesting specific realities that align with our internal states. This idea bears striking similarities to the philosophical concept of idealism, which posits that reality is fundamentally mental or spiritual in nature. It also aligns with certain interpretations of quantum mechanics, such as the many worlds interpretation, which proposes that all possible alternate histories and futures are real, with each representing an actual world or parallel universe. The power of assumption, a key component of the quantum law of being, finds its articulation in the works of Neville Goddard. Goddard's teachings, while predating modern quantum theory, align remarkably well with these concepts. He proposed that by assuming the feeling of a wish fulfilled, one could bring it into physical manifestation. This isn't mere positive thinking. It's a fundamental shift in one state of being. The mirror analogy serves as a useful metaphor for understanding this principle. Reality, in this view, acts as a reflective medium, mirroring back our internal states. This concept echoes the holographic principle in physics, which suggests that the information contained within a volume of space can be encoded on its boundary. Critics might argue that this perspective oversimplifies complex socioeconomic factors or promotes a form of solipsism. However, Proponents contend that the quantum law of being doesn't negate external factors, but rather emphasizes the role of perception and interpretation in shaping our experience of these factors. Implementing the quantum law of being involves a structured approach. 1. Cultivating self-awareness. This initial step requires a deep dive into one's psyche, examining not just surface-level thoughts, but underlying beliefs, assumptions, and emotional patterns. It may involve techniques such as mindfulness meditation, cognitive behavioral therapy, or psychoanalytic approaches to uncover subconscious beliefs that shape our reality. 2. Conscious state selection. This step involves a deliberate choice of one's desired state of being. It's not merely about choosing positive over negative, but rather selecting a state that aligns with one's authentic self and desired reality. This process may involve exploring various philosophical and psychological models of human potential and self-actualization. 3. Embodiment through cognitive and somatic practices. Embodying a new state goes beyond mental exercises. It involves a holistic approach that integrates cognitive restructuring with somatic experiences. This might include practices like embodied cognition, where physical experiences are used to reinforce mental states, or neuro-linguistic programming techniques to align language with desired states. 4. Persistent application and neuroplasticity. Maintaining a new state of being requires consistent effort and leverages the brain's neuroplasticity. 
This involves creating new neural pathways through repeated thoughts and behaviors. Understanding the neuroscience behind habit formation and cognitive change can be crucial in this step. 5. Quantum detachment. This final step involves cultivating a state of non-attachment to outcomes, aligning with quantum principles of superposition and entanglement. It's about maintaining a state of openness to various possibilities, while continuing to embody the chosen state of being. The practical application of the quantum law of being doesn't guarantee instantaneous transformation. The lag between internal shifts and external manifestation can be understood through the lens of quantum decoherence, where quantum states interact with the environment, gradually manifesting in the classical world we observe. This law also offers intriguing explanations for phenomena like the placebo effect, where belief significantly influences physiological outcomes. It suggests that our beliefs and expectations can have tangible effects on our biology, possibly through mechanisms like psychoneuroimmunology. On a collective level, the quantum law of being has implications for social change and cultural evolution. It suggests that societal transformations begin with shifts in collective consciousness, aligning with theories in social psychology about the spread of ideas and behaviors through social networks. The quantum law of being challenges us to reconsider the nature of causality. In classical physics, causality is linear and deterministic. However, quantum mechanics introduces concepts like retrocausality and non-locality, suggesting a more complex, interconnected web of cause and effect that aligns with the idea of consciousness influencing reality. This perspective also resonates with emerging theories in cognitive science and philosophy of mind, such as the predictive processing framework, which proposes that our brains constantly generate predictions about the world based on internal models, effectively creating our perceived reality. In conclusion, the quantum law of being offers a sophisticated framework for understanding the relationship between consciousness and reality. It bridges quantum physics, philosophy, and personal development presenting a view of the universe where consciousness plays a central role in the unfolding of reality. While it challenges many conventional notions, it also opens up new avenues for exploration in science, philosophy, and human potential. As we continue to grapple with the implications of quantum theory and consciousness studies, the quantum law of being stands as a compelling hypothesis, inviting further investigation and practical application in our quest to understand the nature of reality and our place within it.